Hello and welcome to the channel. My first hero breakdown, my first hero deep dive will be on the sexy Sabina. Sexy you say out loud to your screen? Yes, sexy is the word that I would use to describe this hero. And don't be worried about being charged with a class C felony for sexually violating human remains. Sabina's not real. I will say I was not surprised when I looked this up. Moving on, Sabina, the Deathbound Lady, is an original Season 1 four-star hero. In my early days of playing Empires and Puzzles, I never cared that much for her. Having progressed further in my hero development, I have come to see how useful she can be. Attack is at 699, defense is at 578, and health is at 1060. Minus speed is set to average, which is always great when it comes to a healer. Her special, Fog of the Fallen, recovers 42% health for all allies, while dispelling buffs from all the enemies. A much hotter version of Melindor. The 42% recovered health is nothing to sneeze at, and the ability to dispel your opponent's buffs like counterattack without hitting them with an attack will come in clutch. But we are not here to talk about the original Sabina. The costume Sabina, now that's where the money is at. Costume Sabina is a cleric class, so if you put emblems on her, then you have a chance to mana shield. Power sits at 742, defense at 642, and health at 1074. Those are damn good stats for a 4 star hero in my opinion. But if you decide to put emblems on her, which you should, I focused on defense and better health in my path. With max emblems I got my hero to 787 power, 715 defense, and 1286 health. Her special, Haze of the Fallen, regenerates 609 HP over 3 turns. All enemies are immune to new buffs for 3 turns, and it dispels buffs from all the enemies. It is important to keep in mind how our hero special is worded on the card. The effects of the special move in order from top to bottom. Costume Sabina will apply her generation first, then make all enemies immune to new buffs, and lastly she will dispel buffs from all enemies. This is significant if you are going up against a team that consists of multiple heroes that you wish to block. If there are taunt heroes like Black Knight alongside a Sif, then you must bring Costume Sabina along with another hero which can dispel. Since the last thing that Costume Sabina does on her card is dispels buffs from all enemies, Black Knight will be targeted if his special is active and eat up the second effect, and you will not make all the enemies immune to new buffs for 3 turns. My final thoughts on Costume Sabina. I'm not going to give her a grade. She's very useful in certain situations. Before I maxed her out, I was having a hard time with Sif in the double formation in the tank position, and also Costume Catalan. Once I learned how to utilize her properly, those two heroes are really not much of an issue for me anymore. She is still a 4 star, but I would not say she is squishy. With the costume and the emblems, she can survive a direct hit from a 5 star. With the high attack and maxed emblems and still survive. Utilizing that defense in a 4 star along with minions means that it's not very often that I have my Kakun Sabina killed in battle. If you found this video helpful, please give me a like, I would appreciate it, and subscribe if you want to see more. You can also follow me on Twitter, at DerekTDO. I'm on Twitch.tv slash DerekTDO as well. And of course my YouTube channel where you are watching this. Please take care. Be kind. Acknowledge one another. We are probably going to be okay. Probably.